Here was I was using this pressure washer today, Comet Model KX 1400. It's a bloody good unit, Italian made by Sorvin, agricultural spray uh, manufacturer. I was using it, this bloody run capacitor literally, quite literally took a shit. Now this has been doing it for a while, it's a bit we break off, this is about it's, uh, end of last year this swelled up here. A big part, big uh, bit of insulation came out of here, so I broke that off. And it's been starting, but we had to um, relieve the head pressure, then it would start. So we put up with it, put up with it. Till now, today, I was using this, and bloody thing just kept the big magic smoke pouring out of it. Out of here. I went to, I went to come back to check on it. It's bloody. Oodles uh, and oodles and ma uh, magic smoke pouring out of this capacitor while it was running. Now the motor won't start, so I'll turn it on. Nothing. Just sits there, won't start. Gets a little bit warm. So I have to pull that capacitor off. Unplug safety first. That capacitor's uh, gone open circuit. It's a. I have written on it because it was faded off. 450 volt 25 microfarad, plus or minus 5% tolerance. 400, yeah, this is 400 volt minimum. There's a seller on eBay that sells these, so I'm gonna check the wiring of this if it's the exact same capacitor I'm looking for. I'll just go ahead and grab it. Because uh, we can't have this bloody thing out of action, it's a bloody good unit. It's made in 1997. So let's take this terminal cover off and um, check what the wiring. It's got two wires, it's the exact capacitor I'm looking for. Hey viewers, this thing let out a bloody lot of magic smoke for its size. I still smell it now. There's our, um, that just bloody broke off there. It's an Italian made unit, they should have um, at least put did a bit of job crimping those uh, wires on. Yeah, capacitor's definitely stuffed, but that's not the problem that it was broken. That was a uh, red open circuit. Hatch is white was blowing on the smoke and the motor won't start. So it's got the brown and the blue. It's exactly the capacitor I need and um, I saw on eBay. It's got the exact wiring on it and everything. So that looks like that. What are this one? So unplug that. Hey viewers, I wrote down the uh, wiring diagram so I wouldn't forget in that book. That book, book's always kept in here so I'm not going to forget it. Let's check in this box. No water's got in here. It's a good thing. So that's good, good seal. I'll put this back together, just to protect it, stop dust from getting in there in the meantime. I'll put those terminals on so that we don't get corrosion on the motor connectors. The windings don't look too bad. They're not cooked in there. The pump here, yeah, that does leak after a while, but you can see that stuff there. It's half the cat guts that came out of it. Mm, nasty. I'll put that back together. Go order the new one of these off eBay and finish this one here after the mot. Okay, viewers, everything's hooked up, ballast, body our meter there, let's go. Three, two, one. Here we go, she's angry. Look at that, eh? A lot of smoke. That doesn't seem to mind. I just oiled the new one off eBay, so that should be here in a couple of weeks. Look at that, huh? Like a bloody train smoking. Yeah, not putting much in the heater, the ballast. Energy efficient way to pop a capacitor. Without burning the motor out that it was connected to. Yeah, moving very, very slowly. Man, this thing's taking a while to burn out. See there, they're not passing much current at all. Look oh, at that smoke coming out of this thing. Oh, that's a lot of magic smoke. 
bloody hell, how much smoke's in this thing? Alright, stop. Over here was a smoke's cleared. Power on. Got it further away this time in the wind. Sitting on a catfish box off earth. I will just take a shortcut and like arc straight to earth. No, I don't want that, I want it to burn out completely. It takes a while to burn this thing out. But the bloody smoke in this thing, that's unbelievable. All my windows are open, so the wind blows straight out of here. Man, that thing's got a lot of smoke in it. There we go, about 10 amps, they're pulling a bit more there now. Oh, I think it's short. Yep. Flat out. No, nope, but not pulling full. Yeah, I think it's pulling the full uh, current there. It's gone short. In rush. Yep. Short. There you go. Alright, let's try something else. First things first. Yeah, the insulation's burnt out. Just burnt through the um, the two plates, the tin foil where it's wrapped, uh, where it wraps between the mi mi uh, I think it's mica insulating sheets, and that stuff's the electrolyte. So just burnt through that and just arc straight through. All right. Yeah, I think it's completely short. There's no point in trying to put a 240 volt ballast on that and put more current. Well, it's probably not going to do much else. It is unplugged, safety first. I'll pack everything up. Yeah, not even warm. Man, did that get bloody hot. It's just this end bit here. There we go. Thanks for watching.